Open for business. That's the message Australia's film industry is sending Hollywood and Hollywood's listening. With the pandemic virtually shutting down production around the globe, we are in a unique position to offer a safe place to make movies. And stars are rushing down under. I think one thing as an actor you strive for is authenticity in every way. One, two, three, strike! Move back! In this Brisbane studio, actors and movie extras are training for the big screen. Here come the protesters. Good. Is there anything like this anywhere else in the country or even the world? I don't think so. I actually haven't seen it. Chris Summers has starred in movies like Danger Close and The Water Diviner with Russell Crowe. It's really an amazing thing to be able to to be able to be a part of in terms of the training, but also um, for your growth as an actor to have that as a, as a skill set. Chris is among the first to do the training, which involves everything from firing real weapons to stunt training to military exercises to give actors a real sense of what it's like. Three, two, one. Nice. And basically, we're now training realism into film. Sean Barry started the extra specialist training course, which uses former soldiers, police and even paramedics as instructors. I'd really like to see productions come to Australia knowing that our capability of actors uh, is really top level. And do you get a sense that Hollywood is looking at Australia, at Queensland, as a place to come and make movies safely? Look, if Hollywood aren't looking, um, I think they're looking in the wrong place. Um, we are definitely poised and ready to uh, take on the film industry. We're very fortunate to be one of the few places in the world that, you know, can we can make movies. For producer Steve Jaggy, business is booming. You know, in the last four months, we've already done $13 million worth of production, which is more than we've done over the last two years combined. Have you been getting calls from Hollywood from people wanting to make movies here? Very much so. We probably field, you know, two or three calls a day from studios and, and networks and whatnot uh, in the US. Steve is just finishing this movie, The Dog Days of Christmas, which couldn't be shot in the US because of COVID. So we went to Movie World and Mount Tambourine and brought in a whole bunch of fake snow machines and uh, that's the result, you know, and with a bit of visual effects and whatnot, you'll, you won't know it's not America. And so, yeah, this is a multi-million dollar production that Ab would, absolutely would, wouldn't almost, have been here. Yeah, 150 jobs were created um, and if not for COVID, this wouldn't have happened. Nicole Kidman has been snapped in Byron Bay where she's making her new movie. She's brought along comedian Melissa McCarthy, who's also starring in it. Another Byron resident, Chris Hemsworth, is expected to be making his next Thor movie here, while Tom Hanks has returned to Australia to resume work on the Elvis movie, which has taken over Movie World Studios on the Gold Coast. Obviously, he's a key player, so it, it was great he was able to come back because it would have been interesting, so it was fantastic. Lynn Benzie is president of Village Roadshow Studios, which have already been home to blockbusters like Pirates of the Caribbean, Thor, and the kids' movie Dora the Explorer. Lynn says the Elvis movie has taken over the entire lot at Movie World to create its own safe bubble, and director Baz Luhrmann is building a replica of Elvis's home, Graceland, in the coast hinterland. Lynn says the production is pouring money into the local community. Also, people don't realise that they have to go to Bunnings to buy materials, they have to buy the wood, they have to buy paint supplies. So the roll-on effect with everybody else, all the restaurants they go to, it creates um, accommodation, is massive. Our screen industry will be a peep, key part of our COVID recovery. Prime Minister COVID. Scott Morrison is backing the movie business by offering producers a $400 million incentive package to bring productions down under. Since that was announced, uh, the projects have been coming in thick and fast. So the update is this. Um, my wife, Lauren, as well as my two baby girls, and myself, we have all tested positive for COVID-19. He may be a victim of COVID himself, but Dwayne The Rock Johnson is expected to be making a TV series in Brisbane. They are hiring crew like crazy, so I'd say it probably looks like it's going to happen. While The Rock himself isn't expected to be here, the series about his early life will be made at the same studios that are now home to the extra specialist training course. It's a real hotbed of activity all up the eastern seaboard from Byron Bay all the way up to Cairns. It seems to be the safest part of the country, really. And how tough is it to make a movie in a COVID bubble? I get tested 
uh, you know, every time I, I go on set and um, all the cast and crew, of course, as well, get tested before going on and then have random tests while on set. So I think over the last month I had eight COVID tests, uh, all negative, of course. But um, yeah, it, uh, you know, does hurt after a while. Like everyone coming into Australia, overseas actors and crews have to isolate for two weeks, even if it's at more glamorous hotels than most of us get. And here at Movie World, the lot is closed to anyone not working on the Elvis movie, and that means even the boss of the studios is locked out, which is why we had to interview her next door at the Movie World theme park. They have to quarantine them in those bubbles so they don't mix with everybody else. I think it's going to change the way that we approach filmmaking and the way that productions are being um, shot at the moment. So if we can lead by example and we can have a lot of overseas productions coming our way, then it's great for Queensland, but it's also really great for actors. And back at the Extra Specialist School, Sean Barry is hoping he gets more business as a result of the rush to film Down Under. We're really hoping that actors take the initiative to upskill and learn how to be a police officer, to learn uh, extra medical skills, to learn weapon safety uh, on all types of firearms so that they're ready for productions when they arrive. I'd just say that Queensland and Australia uh, in general is open for business and if you're looking to get something into production, come to Australia. So your message is to the world is come on down? Yeah, come on down. <laughs> We're right here. We're all waiting. <laughs> It's good to have a bit of good news, isn't it?